welcome friends so we will learn some uh, concept based question on surface chemistry how is adsorption of a gas related to its critical temperature so the gas uh, having the high critical temperature can be easily liquefied because such gases involve greater vulnerable force of attractions and the gas having the higher critical temperature it will show high degree of adsorption what is observed when sodium chloride is added to a colloidal solution of iron hydroxide so iron hydroxide is a positive sol so iron hydroxide is a positive sol so chlorine ion from the nacl it will neutralize its charge charge means charge of the uh, iron and it will coagulation will take place means uh, hydroxide is inside and outside is your this one uh, cl so this is neutralizing the iron as uh, iron hydroxide so this is called as the peptidization so this actually happen peptidization happens uh, by the cl it will neutralizing the this one iron uh, f3 charge and this is called as the coagulation what happens when persistent dialysis of a colloidal solution is carried out so in uh, during dialysis what happens presence of small amount of electrolyte is necessary for the stability of the colloidal solution on persistent dialysis the electrolyte will be completely removed and colloidal solutions will be unstable so thus on persistent dialysis the colloidal solution will undergo coagulation what are the function of silica gel and anhydrous calcium chloride as a dehydrating agents water undergoes the adsorption on the surface of the silica gel whereas water vapors will be absorbed by the anhydrous calcium chloride why do we see tail of a comet we see tail of a comet due to the tindall effect exhibited by dust and ice particles present in the colloidal dimensions what is the significance of cmc cmc is called as the critical micellar concentration so at uh, critical micellar concentrations the molecule associate to form the particles of the colloidal dimensions so this is the one significance of the cmc give an example of a sieve selective catalyst so zsm5 is the example what is zsm zsm5 so zsm5 is a zeolite sieve of molecular porosity 5 so it is used as a sieve selective catalyst and in the conversion of the alcohols to gasoline why is iron uh, chloride preferred over calcium in case of cutting uh, cut leading to bleeding blood is a negatively charged colloidal particles hence the uh, iron 3 plus will be more effective to coagulate the blood in comparison to k plus ion because more charge will be there higher charge will be there there will be more coagulation will take place so potassium has the one positive charge but iron has a three positive charge so due to high positive charge uh, positive charge so blood will be easily coagulated which will be adsorbed more readily on the surface of the charcoal and why ammonia or carbon dioxide easily liquefiable gas will be the more readily adsorbed on the surface of the charcoal why because the critical temperature of ammonia is greater than that of critical temperature of carbon dioxide hence ammonia is easily liquefied and more adsorbed on the surface of charcoal how can a colloidal solution and two solution of the same color be distinguished from each other colloidal solutions uh, they show the tindall effect colloidal solution they show tindall effect but the two solution do not when light is passed through the colloidal solution then its scattering take place by the colloidal particles thus the part of uh, the path of the light becomes visible in colloidal solution what are aqua dag and purple of cassius aqua dag it is the colloidal solution of graphite in water So if you put it is a if you make the crystallization of graphite matter, this term is called as the aqua dye, and purple of cassius. This is the colloidal solution of gold in water. Adsorption of a gas on the surface of a gold is generally accompanied by the decrease in entropy. Entropy is decreased. 
still it is a spontaneous process explain why for this we will take this equation delta g is equal to delta h minus t delta s so for adsorption uh, delta h and delta s should be negative so uh, and so uh, and delta h must be greater than t delta s it is uh, so thus delta g will be your negative case so if this is uh, more delta g is more negative and t delta is more negative so what will happen uh, the delta g will automatically your negative so for adsorption delta h delta g delta s all are negative conditions and then this uh, what happens then the adsorption of the gas on the surface of the gold will be your uh, it is decreases by uh, it is generally accompanied by decrease in entropy entropy decreases and it becomes your spontaneous because delta g overall delta g is negative why powdered substances are more effective adsorbents than their crystalline forms in powder states the surface area is maximum greater is the surface area of the adsorbent more effective is the adsorption why does physiosorption uh, decrease with increase in temperature this is a gas gas is a adsorbent and this is solid solid also adsorbent so when they both will combine so adsorption will take place gas is adsorbed on solid and some heat is released reversible of this is called as the desorption when you heat supplied on this uh, gas adsorbed on the solid so what we know both will be separated physical adsorption is a exothermic process therefore it is favored at low temperature this exothermic process favored at the low point because it is a physio adsorption process desorption takes place with increasing temperature it means uh, reversible only takes place when you are increasing temperature and if you decrease temperature this will go forward direction gas molecules move uh, more rapidly on increasing temperature and desorption take place why is ester hydrolysis Uh, slow in the beginning and becomes faster after some times in the hydrolysis of the uh, acetyl ethyl acetate so acetic acid and the ethanol are formed initially this is a slow reaction but gradually its rate increases why its rate increases because uh, due to the formation of the acetic acid which is acting as the auto catalyst and this is a homogeneous auto catalyst reactions So this is the reaction of the ester with water in presence of acid. This H plus is coming from the acetic acid. So this reaction becomes faster. So if you see the rate law, so rate law is nothing but the constant into the ester and the acetic acid. These two are participating in the reactions. This is the reactor. This is the auto catalyst, and rate of reaction is increases. We can draw graphs. So graph is it is initially it is slow. we can see it is slow then rapidly it is going increasing you can see later on it is rate of is increasing like this one in this is very slow this is very slow but this graph is showing the rate of increase is increased due to the presence of this uh, acetic acid and this is part it is acting as a auto catalyst during this reaction what is the role of desorption in the process of catalyst in heterogeneous catalyst the product remain adsorbed on the surface of catalyst thus on heating desorption take place so that the we get products along with free catalyst uh, free catalyst for further reaction why is it essential to wash a precipitate with water before estimating it quantitatively a precipitate may contain adsorbed post precipitates a precipitate may contain the adsorbed post precipitates hence it is essential to remove these impurities on washing otherwise quantitative estimation will give wrong results why adsorption is always exothermic in this what happens there is a decrease in the surface energy of the adsorbent so energy of the surface uh, adsorbent is decreases surface energy decreases and this energy appears as a heat therefore it is exothermic in nature what role does adsorption play in heterogeneous catalysis in heterogeneous catalysis the molecules of the reactants are adsorbed on the surface of catalyst the increased concentration of the reactants on the surface influences the rate of reaction adsorption it is a being a exothermic process 
the heat of adsorption is taken up the taken up by the reactant molecules to increase their chemical activities that's why adsorption play uh, play an important role in heterogeneous catalysis